Hello YouTube! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Flack Jacket, and welcome back to Scribblenauts Unlimited! Last time, we went to the Underline, did a few things, mopped the floor, helped one of Maxwell's brothers get snacks, and even made a rock band. And we also got some stars having to do with food. This time, we will be going to St. Asterisk, the local hospital. Let's go! Hey, it looks like we have a bit, bit to do here. Got two patients with flags. Uh, evil heart that's attacking someone. And another one of Maxwell's brothers. So let's see, what does this girl want? Give me something that I can use to perform surgery. Okay, how about we give her a... Scalpel. Yep, we give her a scalpel, she just moves her around, and boom, now we can play as Kenpo, because he's feeling all better. Now, here's a star mission, we'll be getting to that later. Now, up here we have this clown, help me laugh again. Ah, broken your funny bone. But in all seriousness, let's give him a banana peel! Ha, ha, ha! Yep, and there he goes. Bring our star eye total up to 16. Oh yeah, basically if you get if you finish a star eye, star eye when you're in the middle of something, it will automatically interrupt you and tell you if you want to go back to Lily. Now up here we have this nurse who's apparently being attacked by an evil sentient heart. Probably from that zombie invasion mission that we did a few episodes ago. Yeah, good times. Anyways. I think it can know of one way to stop this heart. How about we make it dead? Yeah, seriously. You can kill stuff in this game by just adding the adjective DEAD to them. And now that heart can't hurt anyone anymore. Don't think it can really help anyone either. Now we have this legless black knight. Eh, tis but a flesh wound. How about we give him some... Glue. Glue. Oh yeah, it's this guy that we have need help. I need new equipment for a hospital. Okay, so how about we give him a defibrillator? Yep, apparently a defibrillator will give him back his legs. Okay, and here we have these two guys, these two patients, and no, I don't want to click on the helmets. Seeing something painted with my team colors would really motivate me to win the race. Okay, how about we give him a red stick? Yes, a red stick. And with him being motivated, he can act, he actually wins the whole thing. We can also complete this this uh, Starlight mission with these two patients in another way by giving them by giving the blue patient something blue. How about a blue stick? That way, he will win, and you will get the Starlight shard instead. But I have already gotten the Starlight shard, so yeah. I left what I was delivering to the transplant patient behind. Oh right, I think that's gotta be the heart. No, it's... It's gone? What? Um... Huh. Hey, uh, how about I give you a cooler? With a heart in it. Huh? No, how about I... Have I empty it? And yep, apparently that that's what Oh you gotta be kidding me. Uh, okay, anyways, we got one more star eye shot left. So Ah! Here it is! Here we have this store. I forgot what I'm supposed to be delivering. Can you help me? Okay, how about we give him a baby? You know, what? No, 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 no. We don't make the stork into a baby. We give the stork a baby. No. Yeah. A baby. And it's apparently carrying it with his wing. 
What? Anyways, back down here, we have the Starite mission. Doctors on call. Help the patients that are coming into the hospital. Let's begin. Okay, help the patients that are being delivered to St. Asterisk Hospital. Yeah, apparently we they can drive a ambulance indoors. First we have this... This kitten is... <laughs> sick as a dog. Right, so I need to cure it. And apparently this... Huh. Cat looks, uh, not well. It apparently has spots all over it. That does not look good. But we make it healthy. That's the opposite of sick, right? Okay. Next patient, we have... A set of dentures. Okay. <laughs> this game is weird. Okay, ouch, I have a toothache. Yep, and apparently these, these are sick teeth. Okay, this is weird. How about we give him a toothbrush? And no, cleaning it apparently doesn't help. Hmm, but give... Ah, okay, how about we do it clean? No? That, um, medicine? Oh, yeah, yeah, medicine. Yep, yeah, apparently that worked. No? No? Did, what? How do I help this suck the teeth out? Um... Bandage? No? What? How do I help this thing out? Who can check the- Oh my god. A dentist. I have to make a dentist. Yeah, sometimes these answers, these hints, and they can be just so obvious, yet so vague at the same time. And here we have a broken robot. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to bring that into a hospital. I think a mechanic's more for that. But anyway, this robot is broken. Can't help it function again. Okay, so... Well, we got a dentist for the teeth, so how about we make a mechanic for this robot? Uh... No? Okay, well, we get a wrench. Uh, what? I I swear to Arceus, I did not do anything. I, Maxwell just picked up the wrench all by himself and fixed it. This book story is incomplete. Where's the last chapter? Okay, how about I, how about I make Stephen King? But no. Oh, I can't. Ah, uh, great, I can make that author. Hmm, would have been, been the greatest thing since the Shawshank Redemption. Okay, how about I give him a pen? And, uh, what? Uh, this is apparently something that Maxwell just does it automatically. And this is our last patient, a car. This is not an automobile shop, this is a hospital. Uh, anyways, maybe this can use him? A mechanic? Mm. Uh, yep, apparently, and it I got a new paint job on the process. And now the ambulance just crashed in through here one more time to give us a start. Well, this is the weirdest hospital ever. That brings our total up to 17 now, completing the level. Anyways, that is all that we have to do in St. Asterisk. Next time on Scribble Knots Unlimited, we will be going to Hyphen Heights. See you guys then. Flacker out.